<laughs> hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. And I am going to actually set my timer because if I don't, I'm going to completely overdo this uh, this episode. So let's set this timer to 20 minutes maybe. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I should probably do it for a little bit longer because I actually end up cutting things. So let's say 22 minutes. 22 minutes sounds like a good old time. Now, what I had to do is actually get Flurry out. Yeah, one of those rare times I'm going to be using Flurry. And blow this house down. So, let's actually switch back to... Wait, actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to want to switch to Goombella. There's going to be new episode, uh, new enemies in this next area. So, yeah. This will be fun. Though, there will be a little bit of backtracking back and forth between this area and the next area. But that's fine. And this is... Oh my god, wait. Let me just jump on you. Okay, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be an amazing daisy. Please don't die. Okay, good. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tattle first. And yes, tattle, tattle first. Thinking about my strat too much won't really help. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. That's a crazy daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's actually a serious foe. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage it, if you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when your HP runs low, it runs away, so try to KO it in one fell swoop. Okay, that's actually really good advice, so let's just knock it out. We're gonna knock you out. Alright. Oh, man, I could really actually use that. And charge. Okay, perfect. Good thing I chose Goombella, actually, because I really need to use... Wait, maybe I should... Hmm... <laughs> yeah, that was useful. That was so useful. Did you see how useful that was? That was the most useful thing I've ever done in my life. Do you believe how useful that was? Oh my god, I'm stupid. There, that's perfect. Exactly what I needed. At least Goombella's kind of guarding the front now, so it, so since I'm, yeah, since I'm not going to be using her later on, it's actually really useful for her to be taking the frontal damage. Let's switch to Axel, who's very useful against these guys with his ability, and also not going to be using that. Oh my God! I did not even. I don't know if it's my Wii doing this, or... I don't know, because it feels like since the last episode, something's been uh, kind of off. Also, I don't think I've shown this off. But he keeps eggs. And they each do damage. And also debuffs. So he's very useful no matter what he does. And I get a maximum bingo, baby! I feel like I've been getting really lucky with these bingos, and I can't even see that Goomba anymore! I just see a little tiny head of its spike. It's not even there anymore. Super duper easy. <laughs> okay, let's keep Axel out for the rest. I feel like he'll be more useful right now. Wait, and we can go slipping and sliding through trees to get this nice earthquake. I could actually, I could kind of use the honey syrup right now. Let's do that here. Wait, um. I should totally use that jam and jelly, actually. Oh no, that's way too OP right now. It's not really worth it. Mmm, yeah, fine, it's fine. I don't think I'll run into anything that I'll actually need to be using FP on for a little bit. Ooh, there's a block. Can't go, can't go not hitting blocks. A little bit too much. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Axel. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it teleports to me anyway. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna take out another amazing day. Oh, the crazy daisy. Amazing daisies, I think, are gold ones. Okay, so that was way harder on my health than I thought it would be. That one actually really hurt. That one hurt really bad. Okay, so let's switch to Axel. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm totally gonna have to heal. There's nothing I can do. Let's see. I did not buy anything that can actually heal me besides an Ultra Shroom. And I didn't really buy that, I just kind of have it. Hmm. I guess I gotta be careful. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 there's a new enemy! 
Perfect, perfect. This should be an amazing daisy, if I'm not mistaken. And these guys run away. These guys run away super hard, but I really, really, really want to get one. Let's see, I'm going to take this crazy daisy out. No, no I'm not. What I'm going to do is swap my par partner to Umbella, which I should have had her there in the first place, and tattle this amazing daisy. It's exactly what I was thinking it is. That's an amazing daisy. A mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. The match HP is 20, attack is 20, and defense is 1. So these things can wreck you completely. Since it has such high HP and runs away really quickly, it's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its little lullaby has massive attack power, so if we're low on HP, we need to scram. You gotta think hard about whether to fight or bolt. So these guys- whoa, jeez, I just realized. Oh, I'm gonna have to bolt. Oh, good, it ran away. Never mind, I'm not gonna have to bolt. Oh, jeez, was that lucky. Well, I, I guess it was kinda lucky. Let's see. This is hammer throw. Throw a hammer at one's foes, no matter where he where it is. That can actually be really useful for fighting flying enemies when your hammer actually has more damage than your shoes. Can do I have to Do I have to No? Do I Do I have to Do I have to this? Yep. And we're in the background! Oh my god, these woods. These woods scare me. These woods scare me to death. Wait! Wait! Haha! <laughs> Did you think you could trick me? Fool! And we're in the background! Oh wow, we actually pushed the giant rock. That is awesome. I forgot about this. Okay, let's switch back to uh, Axel for the remainder. Perfect, and here. Oh, no, 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 please! No, 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 please! Okay, so these guys are very, very dangerous. They're very, very, very dangerous. I'm not sure if we fought one of them already or not, but they're they're pretty tough, and I'm not sure if I want to fight one right now. Which is a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to... Strike first! Oh, and there's an amazing daisy in the background. That's very bad. That's very, very, very bad. With my health the way it is, it does 20 damage. So, me being at this level of health is a very, very bad move on my part. So, what I'm going to do is tattle these guys really quick. This is a hypercleft. <coughs> That's a hypercleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charge up moves. Match HP is 4, attack is 3, defense is 3. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Couple its rock hardness with its ability to charge up and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try doing super guards to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better use some items or you better hightail it out of there. Yep, these guys are tough. Very, very strong. And because of that, we want to be very careful with what we're doing. Um, I think I might just want to head out of here. So I want to get out of here because it's not really a good idea to fight these guys. At least not at my current level, and not at my current, um, everything. But I can also just use my star power, I guess. I mean, I'll, I'll try Earth Tremor. I've never actually tried it on these guys. I usually just run away. But I just kind of want to try. If I game over, I game over, right? What's the real point of not living a little? Because when you live a little, sometimes you die a lot. Kind of a trade-off, isn't it? Oh my god! Somewhat focus I kept to get! Oh, look at that! That was pretty cool. Okay, so we did six damage to the crazy daisy, and it's gone. And it's gone. I really hope we get to our destination soon because this hurts a lot. Axel pretty much has uh, some of the best HP right now. Ooh, creepy steeple. And I'm, I know I'm missing a star piece somewhere, but I think I'm just gonna get it on the way back, because I cannot, for the life of me, remember what we're doing. Yeah, this is creepy steeple. That nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez, let's just get here. Get that crystal star and get out of here fast. 
Good point there, buddy. But first, let's do this. Now, I like the convenience of these heart blocks, but I really hate the fact that we cannot... Oh, wait. There's two... Okay, so there's two main ways we can go. One is that we can just do this. And roll underneath this fence. And I think there's some stuff here. I cannot remember. Maybe over here. Yeah, alright. And there's a star piece right behind the gate here. So, yeah, don't want to forget that one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I don't know where there is another, but... We don't really want to go through the front door. What we want to do is actually jump in the well. And you might be asking why I want to do that. Well, first of all, Giant Sprite, there's that. And also the fact that there are new enemies. Wait, did I fight these guys before? I don't care. This is Buzzy Beetle. It... If I did fight it before, the only reason I did was because of the fact that... Wait. Um... Da, 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 switch this to Zumbella. Now that our party members are full on health, this should be really fun. And go. Yep, Buzzy Beetle. Classic enemy. <laughs> That's a Buzzy Beetle. Aw, it's kinda cute. It is kinda cute. Now that I think about it, those little straight black eyes. Match HP is 5, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It's got pretty good defense, and fire explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to zero. Then it's at our mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump, 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 jump! <laughs> okay, so, like she was saying, we're gonna pretty much want to just jump on it. Because that's pretty much the easiest thing that we can do right now. Wow. Super easy, okay. But yeah. Like I said, not too hard. Not too hard. But, what we really came down here for was, in fact, that, uh, that, uh, Shine Sprite. But there's also more stuff down here. Oh my god! Um. Hmm. Hmm. That is quite legitimately the most terrifying thing ever. Oh my god. Yeah, just get spun, buddy. Got, you got nothing on me. Oh my god. Oh wait, actually, there are spiky buzzy beetles. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do something after all. Let's see, um, let's swap partner to Goombella, and actually tattle these guys. Wow, I'm not cutting out bites today, apparently. <laughs> That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Magic HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Oh, actually, it's 4, it's not 0. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But, you can flip it over if it drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you already know, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Well, the problem with that is, the fact that it has a spike on its head means that we can't actually jump on it to drop its defense to zero. So... Yeah, we have no options at all. Well, the only thing we could do is use star power, but again, it's not really worth it at this point. That's a rock. I'm going to hit you with my hammer. Boomba. So I think our best option right now is actually to run and use the invincibility frames from the running to get to uh, basically escape this cave because we have no other choice. But first, this is a tornado jump. Execute n uh, near block. Oh my god. Super uh, Execute super bly to damage all mid-air enemies. I don't know what super bly is. Superbly? Superbly? I am stupid. Does everybody realize that I'm stupid? Does everybody realize that you guys are literally listening to an idiot? Because, I mean, that's the thing. That's the thing you guys should realize. I don't even know where my freaking phone went. At all. It's probably underneath my file, or whatever. Anyway, yeah. So we can't actually enter through there, I just wanted to get that badge and that shine sprite. And now that I have both of those in my possession... <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm doing that evil laugh a What just happened? What? 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 I'm sorry, but did the Goombella just fly off into space? Am I imagining things, or did that just really happen? I want that key. I want that key. Anyway, I see a little opening down here, and I feel a little bit fearful for going forward. So we're gonna want to go down here, and go also get a shine sprite. And if you could not, re if you did not realize, there's also a little bonus something right over here. 
<laughs> and Mario's face while holding the star piece looks hilarious. Now, there are two chests. I don't remember if one of them is a trap or something. Okay, that's a badge. Ice smash. Really good one, actually. And this is the cookbook. We're gonna really want this. There's a reason I've been wait uh, I've been kind of neglecting the recipes as of late, and that's really because of the fact that I did not have this book. This book will help us tremendously. And plus, I was actually kind of waiting until I had it to show off um, some certain recipes. And oh, it's a ghost. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. Okay. You're really creepy, ghosts. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Don't open doors. Um, let's use Axel. Actually, this place has a really beautiful design thing. Okay, we can totally move this. And fall down. And okay, there should be something back here. I like how I, I'm actually forgetting things, but also finding new things at the same time. It's pretty great. Boop, there's a hole. Oh my, where am I going? Oh sweet, perfect. Okay, I don't know what this is, but... Oh sweet, flower saber. Drop FP used when Mario attacks by one. That's actually a really good... That's a really good badge, actually. I wonder if you could actually drop your FP used to zero by using badges, and then just keep using attacks all day long. Because, I mean, I mean, if it drops by... Oh my god, I better not open this box yet. I feel like I have a bad feel about this, Scoob. Okay, so I guess we have no choice. Oh boy, this is Luigi's Mansion all over again. I should totally LP that. It's pretty short. I could totally do it. Okay, it's quiz time, Interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of the bus blues came out in total? I'm gonna assume 100. Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was 200. But we'll send you home with a party gift. See ya, sucker. I don't actually remember... I didn't remember. It's a thing that has to be remembered. Again, it locked from the inside. Is there anything I can... Why did I open that box? Was there a point to opening that box? Well, I guess I kind of needed to open that box so that the boos were around, so that, so that these guys don't freak out. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Are you gonna be mean to me? No, I have no reason to be. Promise? Come on out, guys! So, here come the booze. Itty bitty bitty booze. So, that's a lot of booze. Oh god, these guys kind of freak me out a little. It's weird, they're such a simple design, but the, but just the design of the booze in um, in Paper Mario are, the, are way creepier than any design for booze uh, in any other game. And this is... Come here. This is like, hey, that's Swooper from, from the from the glitch bit. I guess we kind of just fought somebody a little early. Here come the booze. What's this? I, I don't know which side I want to start at, but I know that either side I go to will have some sort of enemy on it. I'm not sure if I tattled the guy when I was actually in the Coliseum, but I might as well keep it. I guess I didn't. Okay, so, um... Oh my god, I, can't, I have no way of jumping on that guy, do I? Nope. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is get Goombella, and I'm going to tackle him. Good old Swoopa. Perfect. That's a Swooper. I bet they call it that because because <laughs> it always swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. Had to do that for the sarcasm. So anyway, max HP is six, attack is three, and defense is zero. So it's here it hangs from the ceilings. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god, that is- I'm- Okay, so apparently I'm terrible at this game. Oh my god, please, please, let me do this. Please, 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 please. No! I could've really actually used it. It would've been convenient. Okay, so I have no idea what I can do. But I have an idea. I want to test if this works. Okay, so I'm gonna get Axel out. Okay, so it'll it'll hang on the ceiling until we do something. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, Mini Egg does in fact hit it. What? What happened there? What? 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 
I don't know what happened. Like, I hit it on top, uh, like, right on time. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's kind of shrunk. It can't even hit me now. So, so as you can see, that defense badge actually really helped us out. Mostly because of the fact that, we, um, because we have it on, it makes it so that ah, those weaker, like, like one-hit type uh, attacks do no damage at all. Which is super convenient. And, you know, just the fact that we take less damage means overall we'll be, we'll be you know, able to survive a lot more. So, that was super. That was really easy. Let's keep moving. Not literally, oh, nope, nope. Okay, not today. Not, not today. We'll go this way, we'll go that way, I'm gonna go this way. That is a red switch. Okay, so I think... Yes! This is a golden leaf. We're gonna want this. We're gonna really, really want this. Um... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this egg. I don't know why I have... But I really should use this egg. Okay, perfect. And we got the golden leaf. Okay, so that's the thing we're gonna need later on. But I, it won't, I don't think it'll matter at all. At least not right now. So, so it'll just be a replenishable uh, FP item. So that is a switch. Let's see what it does. If I'm not mistaken, it actually helps in the next room we're gonna go into. Yeah. Okay. So that switch moves these stairs. If I didn't move these, uh, if I didn't move these stairs, this would go to a completely different door and do completely different things. So now that we have, no, because of the fact that we did it this way, we can actually go to this side, save, good, because I kind of need save, and I can go back. I think these boos actually do attack us. I'm not entirely sure. Or they just try and freak me out. I don't know. But yeah, I don't... I don't know what it is about the boos in this game, but they... Like, again, their design just is way creepier than any other boo that I've seen. I mean, to me, boos always just seemed kind of cute. Oh, wait. Actually. Um, there are switches on opposite sides. That's what I should have said. Boom. Until if we hit this switch, which I seem to be very bad at doing, it actually moves the ladder... Uh, not ladder... Uh, the stairs. No, no, Mr. Right. This is this is a step ladder. Uh, it moves it right back to this area, and I think there are other things I can do with it later on. Oh wow, actually I can move it twice over. So this, if I'm not saying this is gonna drop me nowhere. Yeah, I think as much. Okay, so might as well make our way back there. I'm dumb. I forget things, and that was stupid. Well, I'm pretty sure people would have been asking me what that switch, oh my god, what that middle door would do. Even though it would be kind of obvious. Ding! Oh man, every time I LP it always feels really hot. I don't know, maybe it's just the, uh, my air conditioner, or where I'm sitting. I'm kind of sitting a little bit lower than usual. Um... I had a, I used to use a wave bird when I, when I would play, and now I'm kind of um, forced to use a wire controller, so I'm actually on the floor just kind of doing whatever, but it's not really that big a deal. It's kind of simple. Doo -doo -doo. I'm sorry for all the, the, the tedious movement of nothing that I'm basically doing. I just should talk a little bit about what's been going on with me. I'm kinda, I've kind of been having a really good time recently. Um, this is gonna date this episode so hard, but I actually went and, um... Oh wait, wait, I need to do it twice! Come on, me, stop forgetting things. Um, I went to Dave & Buster's for a friend's graduation, and that was really fun. Um, we, we just did a whole bunch of things, and I kind of I tired myself out. That was actually today, which was, uh, that was really fun. I've never been to Dave & Buster's before. Which sounds crazy to a lot of people, but I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it, it was really fun. Again, I've never been. Uh, besides that, I actually also had a, a huge anime marathon with a, a couple of buddies, and I, I, it was just, it was awesome. It was a really, really fun Friday. Now let's use this key, and I'm gonna save again. And, let's see. I'm gonna see how I'm doing on time while I'm saving. Well, apparently, I'm actually, apparently time is up. And it's been up. So, anyway, I guess maybe I should, uh, end off here then. Alright, I'll, um... 
I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Hopefully you've had a good time, and uh, yeah. Like I said, see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, wait a minute! Oh, now I remember what the boos do. Okay, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I gotta get all the way back to where I was before.